Now, Jamar Chase did have some stuff to say yesterday, Jay. We're going to play it? before we dive into it, we're going to listen to it. Anthony, right, good. let's turn the sound on, and Steve, whenever you're ready, we can take Jamar Chase. It feels like a regular game to me. It don't feel no different. I mean, it's just the hooping and hollering about the Cleveland um, Browns. I was about to call them the Elves, but yeah. Are you tired of all the talk about Cleveland and how tough it's been for this team? Uh, I don't really hear it. If you ask me, I don't really pay attention to it because it's Cleveland is Cleveland. Uh, I look forward to the matchup that we have when we're facing them, but other than that, I don't really be caring. Do you think the Elf logo is silly? Uh, it's funny. It's just different, I guess. You know what? We get blamed in the media for asking baiting questions. That guy had like chum on the end of the line and just <laughs> threw it in there yep. and yep. said, please bite, <laughs> please We need bite. more. I was disappointed yeah. that it ended there. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. usually when a thread starts, it's like blood in the water yeah, and yeah. the shark's Everybody pounce. jumps in. And yeah. I expected at that point that it would go crazy, <laughs> yeah. but it really, yeah. it, that was pretty much it. Disrespectful, motivational, how do you categorize that? I agree with him with the health. I with the elf. I hate the elf. I do too. Screw I think it's elf. silly. Stupid. Silly. But the Cleveland is Cleveland thing kind of took me back to the Browns as the Browns, right? Yeah. Who, who was that? Was that was the Steelers. Steelers. Claypool? Right, right, yeah. was, was it Juju? Claypool? Juju or Claypool? I can't remember. It was right before the playoff game. It was yeah. Juju. Yeah, I thought it was Juju. The yeah. Browns is the Browns. Yeah. Well, Cleveland is Cleveland. That's yeah. right. And, and guys, we've been talking about it all offseason. Like that's that's the view of from the league from the entire league it don't matter how much talent the browns have until they actually do it on the field no one's going to take them seriously nope. the browns haven't finished ahead of the steelers in the standings since 1989 like wait 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 that was my wait. reaction that when, can't be true when zach jackson told me that the browns have not and i know we're playing the, the, the or the the browns are yeah. playing the bengals we're talking about the bengals not the steelers the browns haven't finished ahead of the steelers you know in the standings since is? 1989 bro that's one of yeah. the most disgusting stats I've what ever. are the odds of that happening yeah uh, yeah. Two teams in a four-team division, and they <laughs> haven't beaten them since 1989. Haven't finished ahead of them. That haven't is the biggest indictment of this. Been four teams or... the whole time, but still, they finished behind them every time. Well, was well, there... the Browns haven't won the division since they've been back in '99, not once. I know, but my God, the, the, the talent cycle dictates that every five to ten, you're at the top it's and then crazy. the bottom again. They haven't finished ahead of their arch rival since 1989. So you can understand why Browns is the Browns and Cleveland is Cleveland, why the rest of the division views them that way. Right, but even though he's factually right, do you, it do, is do you label these as disrespectful or motivational? Yes. Yes. All of the above. Should be, yeah. I, 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 you know what? I label it as stupid. Yeah, I don't like what players make. Why would you like do that? that? Why? Now would you got to back it up, right? Now you, you got to go out and yeah, back it up. Yeah. <laughs> Now he's capable, but G, you're, <laughs> G's got that <laughs> devious little giggle. It's on site. You already know what it is, bro. I mean, the trash hey, talking in this game he, is going to be nuts. It's going to be awesome between the wide receivers and the defense. And here's how you know. Here's how you know he's worried about it. Because you wouldn't have said something. You laughing. <laughs> the Browns is the Browns. See, that's when you're trying to convince yourself of something. I tried to convince myself of that, too. I came home from college one year, and my brother was a little kid. Then I came back, and he was 6'3", 315. And I'm like, dang, bro, when did you get big? <laughs> Still a little brother. <laughs> no, nah, bro, you got to walk smart. I'm not about He's like, you want to do pass rush? I said, nope, we're not, you're not getting me hurt up out here. I'll, I'll, I'll wait to see you later. You, you catch me on so the, the other Browns side. So are the Browns are your little brother? Browns have always been a little brother. Browns has always been a joke. And guess what? That elf can either be cool or creepy. Elves put <laughs> elves are very powerful in the Lord of the Rings. Elves and orcs are kind of magical creatures, and they be doing kind of listen. No, everybody knows you don't mess with Lucky Charms. You don't mess with the Lucky Charm guy. I'm looking at this game, it and it hasn't I'm, worked so far. Well, listen. I'm gonna tell you what. Here's what happened. Here's what's gonna happen this time because. Now it's all about the now players. Now the elf is real. Now, the elf, now, the, now it's about the players. See, you was beating up on Baker, and you was beating up on the Colt McCoys of the world, and you was beating up on the Brandon Wheatons, but we got a quarterback now. And we got we got defensive ends now that can come get you. And we just talked about three good corners. And we just talked about a defensive line. Look, the Browns got ball players, and whether you like it or not, Game recognized game. These guys work out with these dudes in the offseason. They work out. You can't, he ain't had nothing to say against Lamar Cooper because he know he's a ball player. He ain't say nobody's a Darius, he know he's a ball player. We got bona fide ball players on this team, and you just gave us all the motivation we need. Last time I checked, Jamar Chase, you need to be worried about catching your boy Justin Jefferson past you, homie. You, you need to worry about you. Well, hmm, hmm, I, you ain't got no juice. <laughs> 
<laughs> you ain't got no jewelry. Like these cats kill me. Everybody chasing Patrick Mahomes. And they acting like they got jewelry and fists full of diamonds and stuff. Listen, y'all, y'all still on that track record with us too. Y'all, y'all did your thing. Y'all went to the Super Bowl. We appreciate you. Every year is a new year. You gotta come to the, you gotta come to Cleveland and you gotta play. And ain't none of that elf talk gonna get it done. We, want, it's on site. And you think Miles Garrett and them ain't hearing that? They heard it loud and clear, dog. So that you're saying they're gonna stand up and win one for the elf? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? You know what this really signals is that for the first time since Bernie versus Boomer, the Bengals-Browns is a rivalry. Yeah. Like it, when's it was the last nice. time both teams were good? Or it, both teams was, was it was nice and chummy. Oh, because a couple years ago, there was a lot of Browns fans that was rooting for the Bengals because they liked Joe Burrow. Because they was like, oh, if it's between the, the, like the Rams and, and rooting for the Bengals. Oh, in the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I, Joe Burrow's so, a hard guy to root against. He's a hard guy to root against, right? But you start to see when you when Deshaun Watson says, I'm tired of talking about 2019 and 2020. I could be better than 2019 and 2020. That means he feel like, okay, while I was gone, it's some of y'all cats that got good, but don't act like I still ain't good. Like that type of mentality is permeating. You think, and guys is looking for it. What's the name? Miles Garrett won that defensive player of the year war, right? And to get that stuff, you got to go through teams like the Bengals. So we're going to see what's going to get done. I think it was, I'm classified it as stupid. It's motivational. It's certainly disrespectful. But at the end of the day, to me, it's noise. Here's sure. what matters. And we all know this. His comments are quickly forgotten if they win 35-10. Facts. If they lose and he doesn't play out and the defensive backs win that battle that I spoke of, then he better get used to hearing about Cleveland because right. they're already a major thorn in his side. Yep. They're going to become an anvil around his neck if he can't and the Bengals can't figure out a way to beat the doormat of the division. I don't care if you're going to Super Bowls. I don't care if you're a power in your conference. You've got to take care of the teams that you're supposed to take care of. Well, going to Super and Bowls and being power of the conference is more important than it is. A but bull, record ultimately. One yeah. When you're playing against one of the teams in your division that historically is the doormat. Right. I mean, Jason's stat is still is still swirling in my head. I know. Yeah. That they haven't finished ahead of their rival since 1989 is Great. one of the more indicting stats that we've got. We can go on for a lifetime. <laughs> never happened in Mike's book lifetime. Of those. It's never happened in that's, Anthony's lifetime. That's crazy to me. Yeah. And so, I don't even however, remember it happening. However, even though this won't anoint the Browns as being better than the Bengals, what it will do is further drive home the narrative that Cincinnati's got a problem if they can't get past one of the doormats of the division. And I know that, you know, you're playing for Super Bowls and you're one of the powers, but you, in the NFL, you look at the schedule when it comes out and you circle games that you think you should win. And th this is a game that the Bengals, on the schedule, they've circled it. You can tell by his comments. Yep. They're Cleveland. Uh, you know, and then he said, I'm, I'm getting I'm tired of hearing all this talk about Cleveland. But then in the follow question, his answer was, oh, I don't really hear it. Oh, you well, that's a lie. Said, you do hear whatever it. Whatever a player says, they don't hear it. They don't listen. Right. Well, they, I we mean, know they he do. confirmed that he heard yeah, it 20 right. seconds after he said, I don't really hear it. I yeah, mean, yeah. you just talked well, about, I'm sick of hearing Cleveland. Yeah, they're Cleveland, frustrated Cleveland. about hearing about it, which in some degree is fair because the Bengals beat them the last time they played. So the yeah. Bengals won the last but, matchup. But, and and, yeah. and you're you're absolutely right. And right. by the way, they beat them when the Browns had their best their quarterback. Guy. You, right. you, you, know why, you know why every year is so hard? Every year, people, this is why the NFL is so hard and people retire. Because don't nobody care about what you did last year. Last year you can be a pro bowler. This year you can get cut. Right. Well, look at the Chiefs. Well, nobody's done anything this year. No, nobody. So yeah. well, when, the Lions have. So well, I'm saying, but nobody. And, like, right. Bengals, no, Browns. But you Every, know what? Your reputation. Yeah. You're right, G. Your reputation yeah. in this league used to be year to year. It's no. play it's to play. play. It's almost week to week. <laughs> play to play. Is, that's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, but we're but, yeah. in an instant Certainly gratification year to year. Yes. society, and you know you're well, right. Well, that's why Deshaun Watson's. Kind of off the radar right now. Sure he he's is. done anything for two years. Right. And yeah. and, and yeah. you know what? He should understand why he's yes. off the radar. In fact, he should embrace that he's off the radar. That's yes. true. I didn't love that he came back and said, I, I can be even better. I didn't love that. Think that privately. Tell your guys that privately. But 
don't put the unnecessary bullseye on your back by saying it. He also did say, he said, you know, you guys, you, you compared to some of these guys, they got you ranked 22nd. He said, well, look, I ain't played in two years. I'm not supposed to be on none yeah, of the yeah, list. Yeah. At the end of the day, the great thing about this game is, is year to year, you zero and zero. If, if Look, you can have all the money in the world, but if you die tomorrow, I got more money than you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sense. That's the yeah. fierce urgency of right now. It don't matter if you're a billionaire. You yeah, die. but if you both die tomorrow, we you both have the same thing. We, zero. Zero and, dollars and zero cents. And now the Steelers is good. <laughs> As, well, uh, I mean, that seems the to Ravens, be a right of pass. Yeah, the Ravens will be good that's there, right? right? Yeah. Every other year. All right. I, so, I think at the end of the day, the comments are, the Browns heard them. They've already made their way to the Browns locker room. You can, you can bet. And the first thing out of the Browns' mouths... At 4.15 Sunday, if they win, will yeah. be a callback to Jamar right. Chase. Yep. Which is funny, because if they lose, you know, yeah, the, uh, when, we didn't hear when, it. whenever this trash talk of this nature, and it's trash talk and it's stupid and I don't like it, whenever the, te- whenever the other team wins, it's like, oh, that was motivating. But if they lose, it doesn't get brought up. Right. No, of course you know, not. It's, yeah. it's silly. That's why it's a, you know, you're damned if you do. Yeah. Just keep your mouth shut. Uh, it's not smart. But, you know, you say you hate it. I do hate it as a fan. Obviously, it. for our job, I love it. I love it. And and when I'm watching the game, it will add an extra layer of spice. Oh, absolutely. When we see Denzel locked yeah. up with Chase for the first time, there's yep. going to be a little extra oomph yeah. there. Mikey. 